Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the next episode of Take One In. After almost a month, um, stuff has been busy, and unfortunately, we are still faceless because uh, apparently during COVID times, uh, video cameras are a very rare resource. And uh, we'll continue today with uh, refactoring old projects, uh, accusing uh, Django of misbehavings and uh, trying to create a new version. So last time uh, we ended up with the section of the site displaying uh, user uploaded download content and uh, fixing a migration for those. Uh, so this uh, was... Uh, this ended up with, um, let's say, uh, work in progress, <laughs> unsatisfying results. Uh, but uh, today, uh, let's hope and move towards uh, at least displaying some useful data. Uh, last time also, uh, we have had database migration problems, so Next on the list is reconciling them. So uh, let's let's start with that. Um, I think that I should be able to display stuff at least. Yep. So there we go. Uh, we're, uh, we are we have to do the download counter because we have the, I have discovered how terrible it is. <laughs> uh, and clicking doesn't do anything, I assume. Yep. Coolio. So I am on... What branch I am on? Uh, this is a correct branch in terms of... Um, this is where we want to do the future uh, upload, let me see, I have all the new data and I don't think that I'm rebased on top of master. I am. Cool. In which case, um, I kind of forgo forgot what migrations I should be reconciling. Because we do have a uh, um, clear integer, so maybe I did it last time. I don't remember. Let me take a look. Um, if uh, uh, if I take a look at master, the migrations that I hope we have. Um, on production are for item red until 39. That works. Uh, let's see where our production works actually. Right, and I think that I need to do that in Chrome because of uh, HTTPS issues. So let me do that and downloads there are not available yet so we haven't deployed that part uh, which let me actually verify um, this is run my this is migrate this shouldn't do anything if you're up to date um, and in the same fashion, loading pages shouldn't do anything. Uh, so let me verify um, that you're literally on the same page. Uh, yep, production pages. And if that is correct, uh, Maybe the only thing that was needed was um, doing that locally. Uh, objects loaded, downloads still not here, so this is fine. And let's 
locally no no, no migrations to apply so this supposedly works uh, is there a way to list applied migrations because we don't have any difference but we're getting told um, that we have model changes uh, which I think means that um, something went wrong uh, during those uh, alleged uh, migrations uh, and by something I mean um, the ordering of the uh, migrations so list migrations uh, is there such thing in Django? Two people stream streaming on this network. <laughs> um, migration files. Huh. Doesn't seem so actually. <laughs> Strong indication of the dependency is very incorrect. Uh, So what we also want to do in that case is let me take a look at db shell at this. So this should give us database console with all the connections set up. And if we select everything from Django migrations. Yep. Oh, there is applied. Uh, except I don't have. There, yeah, which sounds weird. Well, this looks like we have done this correctly last time. The only problem was that we also applied the item red. So this is so this is probably where the inconsistencies happened. Uh, so since those were Model migrations. Well, definitely deletes uh, the offending item red. That's from development. So that um, ID fifty nine here. And download and download rename. They haven't actually done any SQL uh, uh, SQL or uh, like schema or data migration so now if I drop them uh, then the model manager should be able to catch up uh, so if we do migrate now hmm then it will work except for that Tinnacle column that we have apparently 
been doing. So my guy did he see that oh forte and fake this one. In which my guy should run the remaining one migration. Uh, okay, let's take a look what what is the inconsistency. Um, meta options on download item. Oh, okay. Yes, this I have probably been doing afterwards, and I had no idea this needs um, this needs database migration. Okay. In that case, let me rename this guy and uh, give it a name. So, it makes sense in the, in the history of the world. Also, I'm trying to keep an eye on this, uh, on this uh, webcast in the Twitch app but insist, uh, it insists on uh, turning itself off, which is a bit annoying uh, in case anyone would actually show up. So, uh, apologies if that happens. I will try to somewhat reload time from time. Um, okay. This goes to the repo then. Uh, oh, this is a chore, uh, and I'm not in a win. I'm gonna go to production and let's finish this download proxy. Okay, so there is a question what to do for development with the Django storage. Uh, first question is why is this happening actually in this case? Uh, click checking is prevent trying to prevent trying to inject an X frame for response, but it doesn't have the response object, right? Uh, so I think this is a failure of our um, view where for downloads, yep, we have returned work in progress. Okay, so we have another download item. Uh, and I haven't started using um, the jungle storage yet. We don't have a counter. We probably want to add, I guess, a migration. So uh, extra counter for new version that will be renamed and merge when we actually flip the switch. Um, hmm. Okay, so let's take a look at what Django storage offers. So Django storage, uh, Django storage is a framework for um, having uh, files stored exactly uh, as 
third party uh, like um, S3, which is what you're doing now. We have synced there. It doesn't have a very, let's call it a rich documentation. But it was the only thing uh, available and it seems to be sufficient like to uh, maintained. So I don't know, we can contribute. And file field. We'll ignore the storage and that should be it. And now the question is, will this overwrite, for example, lock storage? It shouldn't because that's not a file field. Okay. So theoretically, all we should need to do um, would be to define an item that would be models file field. And upload to Now it gets complicated because upload to um, upload to is going to be a directory. Where files are going to be stored under an uploaded name, but we are renaming them. So maybe we actually need our own storage that would override from the a three bottle storage. And uh would override to store under an ID.zip. which we could theoretically avoid by... No, we can't. It could be avo uh, currently avoided by asking all people to properly name their zip files which is viable and uh, the question just is what gets stored in database and how to emulate it for the current projects and the moment we do that uh, we prevent people from uploading new downloads um, which is actually now viable so this is something that um, I would maybe vote for. Let me just make a note to announce it on the original site. So um, we will now have to also create a proper data migration. That will be fun. So. It's a file field. Uh, it uploads to downloads, I think. 
Let's see. Um, uh, let's see where is it. Uh, what is the structure it is downloading from? So let's take a look at network. Uh, record it. If persistence not one by default, let's see. Uh, yep. So this URL. Okay, so it's going to go to soap. And it has to be null true for the beginning. Okay. I'm thinking how to reasonably do this uh, also for development. Does Django storage solve that? Um, like if I'm running locally and I don't want to put in all, uh, I don't want to put in uh, AWS credentials. Okay, so custom storage, media storage. And we can override it. Okay, so this would help with Uh, properly renaming uh, to the id.zip I'm just wondering whether uh, for testing local view. Really want to have that. Uh, but that said, um, that said, this is potentially. Something for um, improve uh, for improving um, because this is for developer experience mostly. So let's create a ticket for it and um, do it in the future if needed. Uh, so uh, make um, make uploads of downloads testable locally without AWS would be the ticket. Um, and this is definitely just uh, some bright future idea. So let's use, let's skip that. Uh, set up the Django storage. Locally and see whether it will be able 
what, do, what will we need to do for it to be able uh, to use um, current data so since we are not making it available for non-local host uh, this is related to static files so let's put it here uh, It's used for all the creative pages um, and the to-do is potentially make different backend default uh, see the ticket we just created and that I have closed the story of my life so last ticket was number 98 Um, we also need to put Django storage into requirements. Uh, is it is it Django storage? Django storages. Okay. Um, so that goes into requirements. So let's install it. Uh oh well now you're talking and we still can't upgrade uh, so lower than one dot ten hopefully lower than one dot ten oh Okay, I mean all of those will need to get upgraded. Uh, so we have the storage. We'll have the item. The item will have no data. This is a migration and let's call it download uh, item file field now uh, we need to uh, make a data migration and uh, prefill the field uh, with data pointing to the correct direction so um, I think that making data a migration uh, does it have an attribute? Like start with data dash, dash empty, I guess. Uh, yeah. Okay. So um, download item data, and uh, uh, we have to specify the application, and we have to well for empty. So this will give us the migration and run Python is what we need.
we are running after the schema migration, so we should have the new attribute. Uh, I'm copy pasting because um, you can't actually just import models. The tools create uh, problems with the uh, Python import chain. Uh, so you have to do stuff in this uh, somewhat special way. Uh, so uh, it's uh, migrate item path. Um, the app is tdcz and the model is download item. Um, and for every item in there, we are going to assign who we are going to assign the file field. Crap, crap. Because that again brings the question of Can I directly assign file field? I mean, potentially. Uh, so Save, uh, we will be saving item not row and the updated fields will be item. Uh, also, before uh, I forget about it, uh, this is the operations uh, that we will need to do. So the migrate item path and this you're not supporting reverse code. Then the question is so uh, what should go into the file field? Of an instance. not of the field itself. Uh, so let's take a look in the Django file field usage. Um, Okay, so we'll be saving path. We will not do save and We also don't want to be actually storing the storage. We just want to uh, represent the string. Which kind of goes against what this is doing. Uh, I mean, what this is intended to do. Um, but that's uh, the story of uh, migrations. Uh, the problem is that I don't know whether it's not storing metadata uh, as well, uh, which I kind of wouldn't be surprised.
So we can hack and pretend it's saved by marking it uh, committed, which is an internal attribute, but um, that should be fine. file name has to be the one we are already using also actually good to learn this because we should migrate the images to this as well file is got from the pre-save of the parent object what what which is good from self attribute name which I assume is uh, good from get not name which is good from self name uh, okay so in theory In theory, we're putting this in file. Should reasonably work. So from uh, so from Django core files. Uh, let's import file. And this actually needs crap, crap, crap. Well, the good thing is that we can use, I think that what we can do for the purpose of this is um, defining a fake file object that would satisfy the attributes necessary for migration so it has to have uh, let's actually um, make it through constructor and just assign everything so Name, size, file, mode. I'll hopefully open and close should never be read. Hopefully. So na name and size is actually the only thing that should be needed and otherwise we will fail on attribute error but that that is actually correct that means that uh, faking it is not sufficient so item will be file name is going to be item 
is actually going to be um, Ah, oh, gosh, oh, the boy string. Um, talking and programming hard. So, oh god, doesn't. This is what I want. So, um, zero dot zip is mandatory, and what you're pu putting in is item's primary key because there's a file name convention for the original thing. Also, don't forget to call it fake file. Uh, let's just document it so. Uh, faking uh, Django core files file interface in a way sufficient for one time data migration. Um, so this is name and size is item dot in check and with some luck this should give us what we need uh, let me go do the shell again and Let's look at the table. And at the end, we should have the migration and then the data. So let's see how that goes. And afterwards, uh, we should set the downloads to not nil. All right. Nobody believes this will work on the first try, but you know, one can hope. Uh, also, let's just verify that run server still works even when we put the photo into settings. Yeah. So let's on migrate and see what happens. Neat. So the only thing that's wrong is the commit that that's checked, which uh, we've agreed it's true since uh, it's migration and fake file not having attribute committed. What do you mean? I just did it. Uh, except I can't write. I don't think this is what should be there. Uh, so, what is it saving? Talk to me. Uh, Django file field source, I think. Uh, not field file, what else field files? Okay, never mind this. Um, so, right. Fields, Joker files, base, yes. So, D. 
this is what's being. My assumption is that uh, we need to override string. But let's double check. storage for it for the self name that's all that that's handled by storage in which I mean we haven't configured the storage URLs but I hope it's on a uh, saving relative uh, relative Path because otherwise it would make no sense. Uh, so So if we if we take a look there, um, Django core files. Really saying just name. I mean, okay, why not? That makes things easier. Um, now we just need to revert it. Uh, so uh, update now this item equal to null and also let's see what the Django migrations ID is um, and delete the one we just did This should redo it again and this time there is the file name. Okay. In which case, if we go for the views and go for that um, work in progress. We have a download item and we can either proxy or redirect and I vote for a download counter actually not being as super important anymore. Uh, so we can redirect to the URL um, of the file. So we could theoretically also be getting signed URLs, but I say for now, you know, 
fuck it. Uh, So, this shouldn't be it. Um, managing files. Uh, so, car photo URL is the only thing that uh, should be needed. So, we return uh, HTTP response redirect uh, download item dot. And I think that this should give us an exception because we haven't reset the URLs yet. Uh, uh, production. No, not item object has no attribute or a lot, of course, because that's an item attribute. Um, and we don't have both those three, so right because uh, since this is wrapping up multiple storage, we have to install the particular storage explicitly. So both those three um, is what we need, and we need to install it. That calls for a T. Which is always mostly a water operation. Um, so now run server should work and both those three should do stuff. And the required parameter is not set, which I assume is the domain. Um, so I'm as I have the storage packet name. It's going to be uh, uh, statics. Um, uh, I need to look it up on the new version in Chrome. Because I'm a very forgettable man. So, no, this is for static files. Um, I managed to do something to it for fuck's sake. Um, okay. In that case, let me secretly log in uh, to my AWS accounts and look it up. So, uh, sorry for putting you on hold, um, but I need to take a look. Since this is calling the, this is done to call the original server, which apparently has issues, so I have something else to do. Right, wait. It's. Oh, because it's using the HTTPS version and there are uh, accessible issues right now. One of the reasons we are migrating. Um, but it's not using the new packets 
and I need to take a look at the bucket. So be right back. Talk to you in a few minutes. And I can't pause, I can only stop. <laughs> um, sorry to do it then, see you soon. Alright, uh, welcome back after a short break. Uh, the name was of course obvious, uh, so we go forward with uh, uploaded on the Um Right, this reloaded uh, the settings. So let's see whether it also needs uh, other credentials. It really needs credentials to just show. We can't get a precise URL. Um, can I disable signing? Uh, I don't think that. This is needed. Uh -huh. This is public S3 and I think that I shall keep it that way uh, for time being. Uh, we are serving directly and it's a, it's a good point that this makes it easy um, not to expose it, which means that it would be harder to hammer it with like DDoS attack because um, frontend would, would give up first, which is probably uh, the more uh, better <laughs> better and more expected behavior in this case. Uh, but for the sake of Simplicity. Uh, are you generating presigned URLs? I don't want that. I just told you told you not to do that. Uh, so sign. On. Of storage URL. I mean, this seems to me that is generating precise uh, URL regardless of this is generating precise URLs regardless of that. Setting Are you kidding me? So this is this is generating present URLs in all cases and then uh, strips signing parameters if Wow, well, th those are useless API calls. Why is it that way? Why, why is that? Uh, is it true in new version as well? Um, so... Six eight four roughly. Oh. Okay, never mind. Uh, this changed so a new URL. Uh, self query string out. Is this a thing, right? Yeah. Poof. 
I mean, okay. This almost makes me makes me want to hack it and uh, just use her coded URL just to avoid this because. This has to cause an API no uh, MP, an API call no Well um, let's ask the Boto guys uh, Apparently not a new issue. Okay, so this is requiring need a way to get pre-constructed pre non-signed and Oh, this is still on the bottom. Hmm. You should be able to use it with the signature version Botocore unsigned. But we're not doing code formation, we're doing S3 link. And we can use this as a hack, okay. So yeah, wow. Like if we would be using, uh, wow, because if you would be using this uh, this library to display gallery, like in its default setting, it would be using you know two hundred milliseconds or whatever uh, to make an API call to AWS per every rendered image. Uh, okay, Th those are the those are the times in which uh, maybe uh, using a using an external library is not such a good idea. Um, and uh, I have just verified that the stream is not really running, so let me maybe uh, try to restart this. Alright, this is an attempt to restart streaming. Uh, let's see whether it works, uh, but even if not, uh, let me probably go with uh, just recording. And um, let's see a feature bonus for people uh, that will actually... Uh, see the rest uh, of the YouTube, I guess, and I think that I see something, so let's move on. All right, um, so at least we know this is terrible anyway, and um, the storage bucket name uh, will equal the AWS recustom domain because that's what you need to do anyway um, and this should in theory uh, override this both 
we are in for potential security risk because oh so because we go for here and use HTTPS and we are not properly generating the prefix meaning that the migration went, went wrong. The default behavior is insecure and will change uh, by default. Okay, this is fine. Um, but what we want to do is to redirect without this at all, which um, I hope also has a setting. Otherwise, uh, I may give up on the library. Um, well, I sure hope I want to use SSL when connecting to S3. I just don't want to SSL when redirecting. So custom your uh, encoding scheme. Mm. This I assume is for client connection, but what if? We put a protocol in this guy. Yep, that wouldn't work. <sighs> okay. Is this going to have a global effect? No. Okay. So if I take a look how this is used, Okay, so so if you are a protocol is the key here. I'm to secure you are also think. I mean, the protocol there was HTTP, but... So AWS, we secure URLs. Oh, uh, AWS, we secure URLs is what? Should fix this part. Yep. And 
to be upgraded later. And what we want to fix was the fact that during the migration the name should include the path and let's just hard code it because the actual source is not the current source uh, like um, so hard code hard coded because that's um, a constant from the original site. Okay. So now uh, let's reset the content. Uh, delete the migration for our development purpose. Uh, run the migration again. And now, if we go back, oh yeah. Okay, so this should give us the proper you know, somewhat proper download links. It will not support uh, upload yet, um, but we don't actually want to do that yet. Uh, this is like, now that I think about it, this is actually something that we can also do after launch. We're running short on time, so this is exactly like the kind of iterations uh, that we can and should do. So, this almost calls uh, for another milestone, now that I think about it. Uh, so, let me create a milestone. Where do I add milestones? Um, here. So let me actually set this one for you know, more future. Uh, sort of, you know, next decade. Let's plan big uh, after the next startup. And uh, September 1st. Uh, next year. Um, I'm not sure how this is supposed to work. It's going to be um, let's say original uh, admin parity, and this is exactly where this goes. And this being um, support uploading, oh, not the milestone, but issue. Support uploading downloads properly. Uh, needs proper uh, C credentials setup. And um, needs signature verification. Uh, signature handling verification, let's call it. Uh, and is this going to be same for gallery? Uh, 
tog över. Okay. But that's it. This gives us basic downloads and I think that maybe um, this should go to production. Well, before that, well, definitely let's commit. <laughs> That's a good start. Um, so, this goes for 53. items from S3. And just the last one that I would do is um, download counter, which is going to be integer field. to be zero. And since we have that, uh, what we can do is uh, in download item list Display the radio download counter and in the view um, download item item download counter is download uh, well plus equals one. And say it's uh, very inaccurate, uh, very impractical, uh, but aligned with uh, how this actually works worked. So let's run server. Run migrations first. Why hasn't it uh, applied? Because we I haven't run the make migration. Uh, so make migration and download item and it's counter. And it just gives us zero everywhere. And when we download, it should iterate to one. Coolio. Uh, so let's set migrations, review it, and commit. Right. Let's make a pull request out of this. Uh, we have reconciled migrations. Um, Oh, 
we have figured local development by not supporting it and down counts I mean this is going to this is not going to be a data migration oh crap um, This migration script will need to read the text files from the original S resource and uh, add them to database. Which can be done as migration. So edit, um, because that's actually going to be a relatively simple. So let's not do this. And instead, um, for launch party, um, Make data migration for migrating download counts. Um, and that's going to be the empty thing. So just so you don't have to look it up afterwards, this is going to be uh download migrate counter and uh, read counter from from the original place which is All ninety uh, counter ninety.txt, which is not displayed in the browser. But uh, if I would take a look, um, okay. This is what I get for not having a cheap eye on this computer yet. I'm now getting doubt for how this is supposed to work. Uh, so, how was it again? which I don't have here. Crap, that's the one that I had to download, right? So that was... Uh, what was the link name? So downloads oh wait uh, so download the PHP Nope, different one. Mm. 
but I'm quite sure. Um, so this needs verification. Because it apparently is there, uh, it just doesn't contain anything, but uh, on the original site... Oh, because the counter doesn't work here. Perfect. So it's fucked up anyway. One, one, which I assume actually corresponds to migration potentially. But uh, if we go for 93, yeah, this gives us the number. Uh, so read counter from counter uh, dot id txt. exists and at the uh, and contains I think and at to um, download item dot downloads counter and um, to original abomination and um, this will go for the launch party so only I can do that well this will be fun okay so, pull request. Back to the fun stuff. Um, let's implement first iteration of downloads and see what it's doing. We have added a new site section. Uh, adding the standards. Uh, decided to call it download item instead of downloads. Uh, fixing plurals. Uh, doing the, f uh, the fake item magic. So let's see how it will work on production. That's going to be fun. And adding the counter, so remove from legacy, put into models, and the list is there, link is there, URL is there, not the download URL because we are redirecting to S3. Stupid counter, uh, rudimentary bottle storage, and we have added it to requirements including bottle. So hopefully this should work and the jungle storage is, is for upgrade. Uh, house and it looks like we do have a green from circle. So let's merge it. I can go here to master as well. And uh, what was next? Uh, noting that this will go in the ticket that I just created. One hundred. 
desert. That's a nice one. So if that lands, uh, we are good with this one, and uh, we can continue with even more stuff, and that's quests, which I also vote for doing in this very crude way. Um, Given the last upload is what? Nine years ago? Well, there were, there were quite a few of those that year. I'm not sure why everybody gave up afterwards. That's a question on editors, I guess. Well, it's soon after I stop maintenance because of um, going for startup. Oh, let's switch back. Oh, I mean, back, back, not back, back. And I, th yeah, this is actually uh, people uploading multiple files. Uh, and I think that the best way to handle it, uh, if I would be doing it from scratch, would be probably upload an archive that's going to be validated and um, unpacked on server. Um, but meanwhile, I'm relying on us hoping it will get work. Oh, let's do... Quests. Um, let me also just figure out, it's actually called it in uh, angry speaking world, so... Is it what people do if you create your own quest? Looks like it. Um, Bruin. Looks like it. Uh, so quests. Though it should be in the legacy as well. And they are. So let's put them into used. I mean, into creations. Into used. And uh, and plural is actually well this will be the um, rename business as well so let's first uh, take a look into initial and properly see that see that depending on how you take a look inherit from creation again oh. and names out I'm not sure about annotation yeah annotation is oh, synopsis is staying keywords those are from um, all of those. 
So annotation path and keywords. Perfect. And all are text fields, so they don't need migrations for uh, mismanaged fields. And before we go there, let's see whether the uh, deploy was successful. Uh, so, yep, a few minutes ago. So let's make migrations on production. See what happens. Moment of truth. Cool. So let's load pages and verify production. We reload, the link should change. We see stuff and with some luck, we were able to download stuff. Um, it was just my DNS. This is cool. Yeah, cool enough. Um, there should be a symbol for how many times it was downloaded. Um, so let's fix that down the road. Uh, this uh, means that uh, we should also do make migration. And the name is quests after we rename it. And now the name is quest and plural will be properly quests. So that's cool. Just let's put it in the introductionary. Um, so now it's downloads and downloads. And in this case, you equals to quest. Okay. Let's see whether it's picked up the rename. Cool. So we have the model, um, let's commit it. And let's see how I do its job. And uh, let's take a look the template uh, so there we go uh, and it needs to be in check because that's what we're doing with the uh, other stuff. So let's keep redirects. Right, redirects is a major missing uh, blocker. Um, so this gives us ability to do something along the lines of download items. So it's going to be a uh, 
in creative pages now. Um, hello, uh, quest list. And let's not forget to update pages. <coughs> so it's going to be our site number 20. Let's load it. And in here, well, Sure, sure. Um, well, A, <clears throat> I think that I haven't run the migration, uh, but B, app. Uh, I shouldn't actually be using uh, printing. Nevertheless, let's take a look uh, in a relevant skin. Uh, how does it look like? Oh, I've been working on that one too much. Okay, um, right, major one everywhere, discussion and rating history, not sure if I have tickets, uh, and since I'm hiding it uh, here like this, I should probably take a look, so, uh, holding, no, discussion, no, that is kind of important. Uh, I mean, in issues. Okay. Tiny little detail. and voting for creative for all I guess creative pages this is definitely an issue trust me It's also definitely a requirement. And it kind of falls up on, well, if not falls up, then at least depends on 53. Okay. Um, but otherwise, uh, author edits, red counter should be edit. So in this case, uh, that's what we care about. This should bring us closer, uh, except for I deleted author for no reason. 
this is what you uh, this is what happens when you go into the de proper deleting mods um, and also uh, there is an unicode character for uh, displaying X properly This guy. Uh, so let's make it like let's make at least this part better. Yep, good enough. And then uh, this gives counter. Oh, this looks right, little PDF. Okay. Which is correct, but. Um, Let me make um, a helper currency for myself. Um, apologies. And um, let's. Oh, I. So those should, I think I should be able to redirect them to the new SV version. But uh, meanwhile, let me call it uh, quest media root URL. And in theory, uh, this should work here. So here, uh, the URL will be view quest. Uh, that's going uh, that we should specify in URLs. Let's call it quest view, just so we are quest view redirect. Well, quest view, but quest view redirect here. Um, so, quest view, so we have a better ordering. And quest view redirect in views. In which I will get request and quest ID not download ID just for readability and the algorithm is basically the same so quest is going to be quest Primary key is going to be quest ID, um, quest toast in this case, plus one. And the response redirect, uh, I'm going to construct manual. Um, or actually, no, 
uh, quest. Uh, let's let's give it a method quest. Uh, quite a URL actually. I mean, not to get URL because it's probably the uh, let's get final URL. And we should probably import it first. In which um be wondering how uh, how come it works. Uh, so we have a quest and uh, we should define uh, should get a, get a final URL and let's actually take a look into the database what's there. Index.html. Okay, and we have a directory. So I do wonder whether anyone ever put there anything else. Um, doesn't seem so, but let's go with it. So um, here we are going to return URL join. Uh, and that's going to be settings dot uh, whatever I put in. Uh, URL and uh, self dot primary key because that's used for directory and a path. Okay, let's see. So if I uh, run the server again, because that's kind of important, I will have a problem that uh, I'm using uh, download ID and the template for lookup as opposed to quest ID. And because I'm joining strings, but primary key is integer. Um, I need to stringify it. And I think that I made a typo in the URL. Yep, see the difference. So let's try again. And it apparently, it apparently seems like Sister is no and that is for Uh, 
let's use our ID is so just three, so we have this one in part particular. And that's not correct. Um, and can you URL join actually do? Multiple paths, no, okay. Oh, uh, for fuck's sake. So, uh, I have to stick it, I guess. Uh, it takes two parameters instead of unlimited number of parameters, which is what I assumed. And uh, now it seems to be working correctly. Except for... Uh, no. A, this is for some reason, there is a synchronized... Something synchronized to the directory and B. Uh, it's not getting correctly uh, redirected to subsection. This actually looks same. I have just used all of um, let's say accessibility features. Uh, but I am for some reason not getting a uh, correct URL out of this, so this is a good sign that we need to test. Well, settings is correctly there. Oh, this looks correct to me. Are we sending proper HTTP response for direct? Yes. It's good. Finally, URL. Yeah. Uh, so, test models, uh, test requests. Uh, simple list case, okay. So, um, test quest models, and it's test. Uh, S3 URL since this is hard coded and um, we import quest create quest uh, and force primary key one um, path as we were what else needs to be there all of this is mandatory I mean, uh, optional name needs to go into uh, as a name, and we should get HTTP Fuck it, let's hard code it. Uh, we should get uh, this. Uh, get final URL, and since this is long, uh, let's make it multi line. And uh, it's Python, match, match by test. This is a dot test dot test model, so we're not here forever. Okay. 
Even this uh, makes me look forward to my new computer that's waiting for various components. Name is an invite keyword, that's correct. Since we are switching various languages, both computer and uh, programming and um, natural, I mean. Why? Um, this was in models. Media query is apparently there. What is the function? Join a base URL on a possible relative to form the absolute interpretation of the letter. I mean, does it mean that I have to add an absolute ending for it to interpret correctly? That would be... Possibly annoying. But that's how it works. Okay. Um, how to make simple problem hearts 101. All right, so we are properly showing it. We are properly showing it in a new location. Uh, let me double check that we do have the meta attribute no index no follow, uh, so we don't have penalty uh, for this guy. I'm thinking that this will uh, also need proper redirects. Uh, for our SEO. Um, so this also needs a ticket. Um, properly redirect all old upload creation pages URLs. Especially goes to Quests which live on now. I mean, I could um, proxy, but I think this is overall a better solution now. All right. Um, Also, let's check uh, 7976. Uh, 7977. Very good. Uh, let's add the migrations and the creative pages templates and the tests. So it's cross at cross creative pages. Fifty three. And this will conclude today's show. So let's deploy it. Uh, see whether everything's fine. Run migrations and um We'll hope to see you soon and hopefully tomorrow, since I really want to make a push to, for this to be done 
um, since I need to move on to other things in my personal life as well. Um, so this ST stuff will still need considerations. Uh, we know what to avoid. Um, I consider those guys reasonably done. Um, people can upload through a three client, worst case, the same way they have been doing for F uh, SVP. Um, uh, sorry, FTP. <coughs> And then I only need to check out uh, database stuff and we can finally move to other things. Uh, let's make a pull request out of this. And double check what we're doing. Creative page, seeded, models removed, models run. Very short listing. A very hard coded URL. I think we should be good. And when I look at this guy. at almost all important sections. Oh, the one missing is uh, basically a bazaar. I'm not sure how much it's used. It surprisingly is. Wow, okay. So those are more common than expected. Um, they will need some GDPR cleansing because people are putting in, I mean voluntarily, but they're putting in phones and um, animals that are kind of displayed for public. Although I... Um, Appreciate the at national chat posting. <laughs> so this is going to be a good challenge. Um, but then the important part, is, uh, the only important remaining part, is showing up discussions and voting. Uh, should be reasonably simple. Needs to be done. And potentially figuring out the remaining skins. And then. Those are static sites that um, you know I should do one tired. Um, queues for users and whatnot that's dumping a database. Um, but the next next missing part is going to be the admin system. Um, which uh, is needed for the sites to actually live. Uh, and the discussion system. I think that the discussion system is mandatory requirement. The admin system, um, we can actually do one by one after we switch based on how stuff flows in and uh, how we do a submission of new articles. But 
we are getting somewhere. So let's wait for the merge. I mean deploy. And I'm tempted to say we are almost done with this major part. Right, we're not properly displaying authors, so let's do that. Um, creation author, right. Um, yeah, this is a good next ticket. Uh, I think that this would be fun to fun enhancement. Um, well, a salute to the outers. All right, how are we doing? And if you're that close, uh, I also think that uh, next part is going to be uh, finally switching Melgan uh, to be a run on official URL and start bank. Um, in which uh, I actually have a separate login now, um, different from Elon, because uh, I was unable to provide a credit card and actually credit card data uh, fun fact I had to um, manually uh, change HTML in order to be able to pay um, because for some reason um, the submission button was disabled even though it shouldn't be no idea why Also, like, one, once I'll be able to do the switch, uh, which this is something that, um, yeah, one of the reasons why I'm rushing on it uh, is that then we once we uh, turn off the old side, we should be able to flip the switch and um, upgrade the jungle and everything. So uh, th this is important for security. I mean, we shouldn't be affected by the, um, that there is only one security hole in this edition and uh, that sh sh shouldn't be exploitable by, um, we're, we're not using the code um, that is there. Uh, I mean, we, we are not doing random email registration, so the spoofing that is described uh, for uh, the security issue uh, is not an issue for us, um, but it's not future proof. And uh, Django moved, moved on quite a bit. Um, it is also async, so there are some potential improvements uh, that we can look forward to. Mm. Let's see how that will work. Uh, so we should have a deploy. So now I should be able to run migration and production. Nothing is on fire, uh, so let's also load data about pages. Okay. Perils of not paying. Can't complain though. <laughs> um, so we have load, loaded our 20 objects. Uh, so. 
or you can reload and have everything ready. Perfect. Um, I hope everything here is relative and that, uh, you know, but at one point we are not going to be surprised by someone using absolute links. But until then, um, this looked good. Thank you everyone for bearing with me today and I hope to see you soon. Bye!